Hello, so I will demonstrate to you Exfo's optical spectrum analyzer. Uh, I've got my OSC connected into the monitor port of uh, an actual DWDM system, uh, which has some 10 gig channels, 100 gig and 200 gig channels. So the easiest way to see uh, what type of uh, channels you're dealing with is to use the button discover. So I hit the button discover and the OSC will automatically scan all the, the spectral range and show me the different wavelengths I've got present. So here I see I have seven channels. Uh, this for instance is a 200 gig channel, this is 100 gig and these, uh, the channel 1, 3, 4 and 5 are all 10 gig channels. So the trace is really power in dBm as a function of wavelength in nanometer. At the bottom I've got all my channels, central wavelength of each channel, power, OSNR value we have to be careful because there's different types of channels so we might have to use in-band OSNR or Palmox OSNR, so in this case the noise uh, level that we see here based on the OSNR method is not the right one. Uh, one thing I noticed though uh, on this initial scan is that one of the channels has not been properly uh, defined. So now what I can do is, um, given I, I know I'm working on a 50 gigahertz grid, I can come here and uh, put a 50 gigahertz channel width in my analysis setup. I do OK and then I push start and I can make a new measurement so I see all my channels are properly defined. Channel 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Uh, some of the uh, interesting features of the OSA is uh, the flexibility in terms of displaying the graph. So I can, for instance, select the rectangle and I can zoom on a specific channel, like channel 1, like this for instance. I can also take the hand and move on my spectrum to see my different channels. I can come back to uh, full mode, like this. Um, then if I come back here, I, I get access to my results. I have also access to what are called uh, markers. So markers allow me, if I go precisely, they allow me to measure specific levels. So if I'm interested in knowing, for instance, the distance between channel 1 and channel 2 in terms of nanometers, I can position my two uh, markers like this. Wavelength channel uh, marker A 1542.8 nanometers, marker B 1547.7 nanometers, delta B A in um, wavelength that's 4.9 nanometers, or in power I've got 16 uh, dB of uh, difference between the two, so the point taken here and this one. So that's the the markers. Okay. There are also different types of OSNR measurement uh, we can make. Uh, so we have uh, the option here in the acquisition setting. So I have the in-band and the I-in-band. Uh, these two methods would be appropriate for 10 gig channels uh, with networks uh, containing rotoms or 40 gig non-coherent channels. So performing an in-band measurement is very simple. I just select I-in-band, which is our newer generation and I just hit start and wait for the OSA to perform the 500 scans. Okay, so now the in-band OSNR measurement is completed. So for all the channels that are not polarization multiplex, so that is the 10 gig channels in this particular system, I see that I have, in terms of noise type, I and B. The question marks tell me that these channels, uh, the in-band OSNR analysis couldn't be made and this is normal because these are 100 gig channel or 200 gig. So channel 2, 6 and 7 will have to use another method. But for channels 1, uh, 3, 4, 5, uh, the in-band OSNR method has been applied uh, successfully and I get OSNR values around 27 uh, dBs. So now I have my trace with all the seven channels on for the commissioning assistant. I will save that trace. I save it on the desktop. 
I will call it that trace all on I save it oh, that's it so now we've just turned off channel 6 so we see that now we add the channel on now if I do another scan we'll see that channel 6 is turned off so now what I'm doing is I'm doing an acquisition in band 100 scans of uh, of the the system with a channel 6 turned off so now I have my trace for the commissioning assistant channel 6 is turned off 100 scans so I will save it uh, I will bring up the keyboard call it channel 6 off and I save it. So now channel uh, 2 which is 100 gig has been turned off so now we'll take you'll make the acquisition for 100 scans of uh, the whole trace including channel 2 turned off. Now I have the trace with channel 2 turned off for the commissioning assistant so I will save uh, that trace again. Uh, I bring up the keyboard here so we'll call it channel off I save it and now I can perform the commissioning assistant measurement so I go in assist assistant I choose commissioning first step uh, some instructions second step select the trace with all channels turned on I can load a measurement file in this case, I will go and select my trace all on. Then I go in off channel traces. Here I can select all applicable traces with one channel turned off. I add my channel two off. And I add my channel six off. Last step, channel matching review. So the OSA is associated to channel 2 and channel 6 some the, the two traces with the channels off I can decide the type of analysis I want either the CCSA the standard from China or the IEC standard I will choose the IEC standard the newer one and I hit OK and then I get my OSNR results here for channel 2 and channel 6 based on the IEC standard